To be honest with you, I'm starting to like this new character in this anime. The Mr. Mr. Prince Boy, I would say. I like him. I really do. Basically in this based in this Gundam basically in this Gundam series, uh the Wish for Mercury episode five. I cannot wait to watch episode six because even though it's not out yet, but it's gonna be out sometime next Sunday. But I want I want to see I really want I really want to see the next episode. I really want to do because because the the Prince guy was just basically like saying like like this I said, you know, like if I win, if I win, you have to duel me. You have to duel me. And that's what the prince is basically basically he actually says. Well he's he's kinda like considered as the ice prince or something like that. It seems like that the ice prince he doesn't show no emotions or anything like that. He doesn't really doesn't really doesn't do that. It means he's not the kind of character who will just basically just like, Yeah, I'm showing my emotions to you because now you can so so you now can have a so so you can have so so you, so you can know like who I really am. I don't think the Ice Prince is really a big threat. I really don't think he really actually is, really, really actually is. But the one thing, the one thing I definitely do want to ask, I want to ask. But the definitely the one thing I do want to know is that is Centina's past, like what what happened back in the past or something like that. What it may have happened or something like that. The first thing I want the first the first thing I really do want to talk about is basically Centina seeing this fortune teller person. This fortune teller person was like throwing these stones on I won't say it not on a ground, but uh, on this like format thing. You know, like you know um I, I can't remember the name the the, the 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 Wooji board or something like the Wedgie board or something like that. I I can't remember. It's it's some kind of it's some kind of board that you play along with other different people. And you ask like what their names are. So was that I've heard that stuff is real. And so was that I don't know. I don't know if that's real or not. I really don't know. I I'm, I'm not giving you a wedgie board or anything or anything like that. That creeps me out. I'm not gonna lie. That really creeps me out. But uh, I mean, as I as I say, as I was saying before, uh, basically she was just having the talk. Sistina was just basically having the talk with this person. Threw some stones on the on uh, on there. It basically like saying like, yeah, this one is your father, because Santina says like, I don't know really much about, much of my father, you know, and she goes like, and then the, then then she also not Santina, but then the other person also says like, okay, this is your dad, this is your, not that's your dad, but this is your brother, excuse me, this is your brother, and Santina says she doesn't have a brother, but that really got me the question. That really got me the question. Maybe she does have a brother. What if, what if, if that, like, Sentina is, uh, what if, what if Sentina were to have a brother? I mean, you know, that could be, that could be very possible. It could be very possible that she does probably about basically like to say like, oh yeah, that's the Ice Prince right there. That's my brother. But she does not know that. She does not, she does not know, she does not know that could be her brother, even though that's just basically what it feels like. But even though, just like I said before, it's just like I said before, I don't think the Ice Prince, I don't think this Ice Prince guy is, is really a big threat. I really don't think he really actually is. I think he's just, I think he just wants to, like, to toy around. I don't think he's not meaning, you know, to do things on purpose or anything like that. I think he just wants to have a fair fight. I think that's what he really wants. And that's, that's, that's just basically what, what I think, you know, that's basically what he, Basically, it seems to me. Now we don't know really much of the just the much of the side story of, of the Ice Prince. We really do not know. We don't know like like who's his family. What what is he doing? Like why is he, he's there or something like that. Or maybe it must have sent Tina's mother. She may have known something about the Ice Prince that we don't even know. That could be very possible. Or maybe that could be like basically the mother will say to Santina saying like, "Yeah, that is your brother." Or Maybe not, or maybe not, or maybe must be must with something else. But like I said, for I just don't see the Ice Prince, you know, just basically being a big threat like some people may think that he's gonna be. Because I just don't see, I just don't see it happen. Just take us, take take us for the instance uh, of Hero, uh, Hero. He piloted the the gov, the uh, uh, the Wing Gundam or, or Gundam Zero, whatever you want to call it, and and the reason why, the reason I'm saying this is because the reason I'm saying this is because he doesn't show no emotions like smile, get happy, laugh, or anything like that. He doesn't. He doesn't really doesn't do that. He's kind of like a cold person. It means like he's he's a very cold individual individual of a person, which that kind of makes him very dangerous because he pilots because he pilots the wing gun with with his you know two guns that he has or 
very extremely powerful. I'm not gonna lie, he really is, and stuff like that. But do I do do I do I compare him to to the ice to to the to the to the ice prince? So and so, I mean, but there are different similarities basically just between them two. But even though it's just one thing, one thing I like about the prince is is, is that basically the Gundam that he was piloting it was it was like a, a Gundam. It was a, it was a black Gundam mobile suit, and and basically basically what it seems to be with the mobile suit that he has, with the mobile suit that he has, he can use he can use electronic different scenarios or so or, or something like that that can disable the you know other mobile suits and stuff like that. You know, it can really give him the advantage that where he can win by using those and stuff like that. Even though even though he's the perfect person for the Gundam, the reason why the reason why I'm saying that because he's he fits well for the he fits well for it. Now I definitely want to talk about Gura Gura. I do believe that's the same or feel uh Gura, whatever you want to call him or something like that. Um Gura is just basically it's a character. He he's a hot headed person. He's he has he has an attitude problem. That's all basically he really does. I think all of us have had attitude problems. <laughs> even though I'm just basically, you know, I'm just saying. It, even though even though he tells he tells the Ice Prince to to for the duel, and but how well the Ice Prince says like, yeah, okay, we'll we'll do. But however, the Ice Prince says Ice Prince says that also says that if he wins, if he wins, he gets he's gonna do. Sentina also as well too. Even though the Ice Prince already won, I don't mean to spoil that. But even though we already know that he won, and then like Sentina was basically like, so what will happen if you win? What what will happen if you win? And so basically, the Ice Prince will basically say it's like, if I win, you're gonna have to deal with me. But if 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 I were to win and want to take you down, then I get your mobile suit. But however, but also what also what is this also as well too. Like I'm really kind of curious, like if Sentina would to make a bargain, they basically say like, okay, if you're going after my Gundam, then I want to go after your Gundam also as well too. That could be possible. That could be, but we we really don't know. But yeah, I'm really kind of curious about what what the mother is not really telling her daughter by the whole entire truth base what's going on based with this anime because I think to be honest, with you, I think I think some people may think like she's probably a terrible mother or something like that. Or, or something like that, or something, or maybe there's something, maybe maybe something we really don't even actually really don't even know. We I don't even know. Like I don't think the mother is is really a bad person in intentionally. I just don't think she really actually is. But I just think that just by just by looking at the mother, it just seems to me the mother is really hiding something. That's what it feels. That's what it feels to me. That's basically what I think. That's basically what it, it's just basically like, okay. Yeah, yeah. There must be the yeah, there must be something that the mother. That the mother is not is not telling her daughter really much about what's going on. The mother must have, must have known something about her father, about her husband, or or something like that. Or maybe she doesn't want to tell. Maybe she does not want to tell Sentina really at all about her father or anything like that. Even though I think Sentina has the right to know, right, right to know who her father is, and and you know that's just basically what I think. But there's still the question is, I like, is her father still alive? That's a question. That's a question of a possibility, but we really do not even know if that really is or something like that and stuff. You know, and, and you know, it's just just basically just seeing the, the whole the mother the mother figure basically in this anime. It's just that I just don't I don't trust her because I just I just think that she's trying to set her daughter up for something for something that we may not even we may not even know. Now, from what I've heard from, from rumors that people were saying, where people were saying that she that that that, that the mother is just using her daughter, Santina. To basically get revenge or something like that. I don't know why she's basically, basically, uh, basically doing it because I don't know what what kind of revenge she's really taking on or something like that. I really do not know, or something. Or maybe there's something. Or maybe there's something that we, 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 we do. We don't know. Or something like that. And I think I'm starting to understand about this whole school about going on and stuff like that. And basically these duels and stuff like that. They're not there just to kill each other or anything like that. And they're just they're just having a duel. That's basically all they're, all that basically they're, that's basically what they're basically basically what the what's supposed to do is basically to have a duel with each other. And like, you know, whoever wins or something like that or something, I mean, they get to graduate and so they get to, to go in the in the military or or something. I really do not know. I really am kinda of curious about because I really am kinda of curious about if there's like if if the uh, are they for, are they working for the, the Earth Federation forces or or maybe something else, maybe something else more different or something like that. I mean, I really do not know. I mean I mean, we could we could basically see like because by judging by the uniforms that they're wearing and stuff like that, 
I'm assuming they're probably working for Xeon. That's what I'm probably that's probably what I'm thinking. I'm not so sure. Or maybe Zaf. That could be possible. Even though I don't know. That's basically what it seems to be. But I don't know who's in charge of the who's in charge of the school or anything like that. There must be actually I think there's the, I think it's that one the one guy or something like that. I can't remember his name, but I really don't know. We're only gonna see him like only for a few seconds, but I'm really kinda curious about what's gonna happen in episode six because basically Guru Guru was was not allowed to do even though he disobeyed orders, he could be punished or maybe he could be or maybe he could be expelled from from the school means expelled means that he could be kicked out, means he's never allowed in there ever again. And stuff like that. So, so yeah, I, I'm really kind of curious about because like I think just some of the, some some of the other um, uh, Sentinel's friends were just basically just telling her like no no don't, don't do this don't do him or like that and and as some of the people are, are upset upset because basically she did do it but it, it it wasn't really an actual duel or anything like that but I think I think like to me that with the Ice Prince is just trying to show her like. Trying to show, trying to show her like you know like what's her what's her abilities and stuff like that. What does she really do have or, or something? Because it just by just by using the abilities that 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 that, that he has, he can pull he can pilot the mobile suit on sheer will. I'm not lying. I mean, will. I mean, being full and in one with the Gundam, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a little bit kind of like G Gundam because you know, because you know when they go inside the mobile suit. They had to put that. They had to put on their their their, uh, their armor or something like that or something. So the, so they can buy it. So they can buy it because they go by it motions and stuff like that. It's kind of like kung fu or karate or something or something like that because that's basically what that's basically what that's basically what it is. Because I definitely do like G Gun because G Gun is definitely is a very good series. I think it's, I think it's a lot more better than Gun Wing. That's just my opinion. That's just what that's just what I think because I kind of prefer the G Gun more more than than the. Um, uh, gonna wait, you know, even though, like I said, that's just my opinion, but yeah, okay, so um, that's it for uh, for the same review. I love to hear what you got to say, uh, that's something I really want to know, but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, so yeah, like I said, anyways, uh, yeah, anyways, it's not really sense. I'll see you guys later. Take care, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, please consider subscribing, uh, please hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, and please hit the notification bell. All thoughts is of you, you guys watch my one of my videos. And please leave me comments below. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. Remember, just love it. I love you guys. Please stay safe. And remember, stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.